I just recently noticed that you can put emojis in your item titles on eBay. Hey guys, it is Thursday, February 18th. I've got, I think about a dozen eBay orders to ship out today, but before I do that, I wanna give a special shout out to a viewer named Jesse. He's going through a hard time right now and he says that my videos are helping out, so I'm glad the videos are helping Jesse. Wish you the best of luck with what you're going through. Just keep your head up and you'll get through it. If you guys wanna leave some kind words for Jesse down in the comments, it would mean a lot to me and I think he would appreciate it too. All right, we got some orders to pack. Let's get to work. First thing is this tailor-made three wood. It's a tailor-made burner. They've had a lot of different versions of the burner. This was in the stuff that I got from my guy Mike a few weeks ago. There was a driver, uh, some irons, and this three wood. I've already sold the driver. I still have the irons. Uh, and this three wood just sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a book on C1 right up here. Got this like two months ago as part of a bulk buy. It is a really heavy duty coffee book. Uh, that was made as a tribute to the World Trade Center. That sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next, we're going over to E31. Let's see, I think it's this right here. Donkey Kong Climber for Nintendo DS. That sold for $14.99, free shipping. Next thing is a calculator in C32. Just listed this yesterday and it sold pretty quick. It's a TI-83 Plus. Had some condition issues, like a name was carved in there and stuff, but it worked fine. Tested it out. Uh, it sold for $23.99, free shipping. Next is down here, B5. And I'm actually not gonna pull this out because I'm not shipping it. This is a Sony Handycam that I just picked up in a recent bulk buy. I've got about 30 or $40 into it and the buyer's local and they wanna pick it up so they're gonna get it tomorrow, but I thought I'd at least show you guys the sale. This sold for $179.99, I think that's right. Yeah, $179.99 plus shipping, but I just went ahead and refunded them the shipping costs. They're gonna get it tomorrow, but definitely keep an eye out for Sony Handycams because they're selling for really big money. I sold some Funko Pops, so let's go ahead and pull this box because I think there's at least two or three in here. Let's see, I sold Dracula of the Monster series. That sold for $49.99 plus shipping. And I sold Zoidberg, the pink version. Uh, he also sold for $49.99 plus shipping. And I sold Michelangelo right here. Surprise, surprise, he sold for $49.99 plus shipping. That Michelangelo Funko is going out to viewer named Jason. He says, hi John, just sending some support your way. Keep up the great videos and thanks for all you do. Please include a few stickers if you have any available. Many thanks, Jason. Jason, Thank you so much for your business and your support. I'll be happy to throw in some stickers for you. And speaking of stickers, I want to let you guys know, I've had a handful of people reach out to me from time to time wanting stickers that, you know, necessarily don't want to buy something in my store. So I thought I would finally go ahead and make some stickers available in my Big Cartel store. So if you want, I've got three stickers for $5 free shipping. I'll put a link down below to my store if you guys are interested. Next thing we're shipping out is a camera lens in C42. This one right here, this was a like, part of a big bulk of a lot of stuff, so I probably wouldn't get a dollar or two into it. And a, uh, I think I had a price of like $20 plus shipping. Viewer reached out, um, just, you know, seeing if I come down a little bit on price. I was like, that's fine with me. So I countered with uh, $12 plus shipping, and they accepted it. And this lens is going out to viewer named Cecil. Cecil, thank you for the business. I really appreciate it. I sold some sports cards over here in A3. Let's see, I did a lot of... Basketball Skybox. Um, I think they are right here. There's a total of 23 of them. They have a really cool look to them. I thought they might sell for a little bit since it's kind of a cool set and it's vintage, but it didn't go for much. Uh, put it up for auction starting at a dollar. That sold for $3.50 plus shipping. And the next lot that I sold is 25 football cards. Let's see. Should be these right here. Also did an auction for these starting at a dollar and they sold for $16.50 plus shipping. Those football cards are going out to viewer named Jose. He says, big fan of your channel. You've been a huge help to getting me started in reselling. Started in November 2020 and I'm for sure hooked. Big Steelers fan, so I had to have this set. Thanks again for being a great resource and hope 2021 is a great year. P.S. If you could send me a couple stickers, I'd love that. Jose in Virginia. Thank you so much for the support and I hope this is a great year for you as well. Next thing is some blank tapes. Over here in E42, these tend to do pretty well. These are blank um, cassette tapes for recording. As a, TDK is a pretty good brand for these. The vintage ones can go for a lot more than this. This is a 10 pack, it's sold for $23.99, free shipping. And last thing we're pulling is a Sparkle Kitty card game right here, and this is my last one. 
I bought seven or eight of these at a garage sale last year. I'm into each one for about 50 cents. That sold for $7.99 plus shipping. A game's going out to viewer named Fernando. He says, hey John, after you answered my question on YouTube about how you pay yourself versus reinvesting the money, I knew I had to repay you somehow. Thank you for everything you do. Please keep up the content and God bless you and your family. Fernando Vega, Texas Veteran Store on eBay. If it's not too much trouble, could you please throw in some stickers? Absolutely. Everybody's getting stickers today. Fernando, that was not necessary, but thank you so much for the support. Hey guys, it is Friday, February 19th. I have 10 eBay orders to ship out, but first I've got a couple of viewer questions I want to answer. All right, first is from Luis Bahena. Hi John, I've learned a lot thanks to you. When you said that you mail those books in separate boxes, what do you mean or how do you do that? Thank you. So Luis is talking about that big set of books. Uh, they're called Great Books. It was part of that big book buy I made. I think it's been like two weeks ago now. And there's 60 books total. So the total weight of them is like 80 or 90 pounds or something crazy like that. And anytime you get stuff that weighs so much, you can't ship it in one box. I think you'd have to, you know, do some kind of like LTL type deal with like a truck driver or something but like the post office FedEx a lot of those places they have a max weight I think it's like I don't know 60 pounds 70 pounds something like that so when you get so much weight like that you have to do multiple pack like multiple boxes the way I'm gonna do it I went ahead and listed those and I listed them for $450 free shipping instead of doing like calculated because I pretty much have an idea of what it's gonna cost to ship because it's gonna go media mail so I just baked that into the you know the listing price so whenever they sell I'll go in and print shipping label and I'm already gonna have them in two boxes is ready to go with the dimensions and weight and everything so I'll print a label for one box and then you go back into that listing you click either buy additional postage or print additional not print additional label because you don't want to print the same label twice twice I think you have to say purchase additional postage like there's an option for that and you click it and it'll say you already bought a label and you know you're buying another label for it so it's gonna give you you know new tracking all that stuff so you essentially gotta you know pay extra to ship that stuff but you know when it's media mail it's not gonna be super expensive but yeah I've had to do that on a number of things over the years just because either there are multiple pieces and it's too too big or it's too heavy or whatever so that is an option all right this next one is interesting this is from Adam Durling I just recently noticed that you can put emojis in your item titles on eBay do you think this will make your listing stand out more or is it just a gimmick that is pretty interesting yeah sign of the times I guess right modern era now you can put like emojis and stuff that's wild like I'm sure people put like you know fire emojis and just different things that catch people's attention it seems a little gimmicky to me but I think it depends on who your target audience is so if you are listing something that's kind of targeted at a younger generation then yeah the emojis could maybe help you and if it's targeted at you know some somebody that's older like me or in their 40s 50s whatever then they the emojis might be a turnoff so I think you got to think about your audience with that but yeah give it a try you know maybe don't put emojis in all your listings but try it out with a couple things maybe you know for auctions too you know that might spice it up and you know kind of build up the hype I guess I don't know I'm wondering if anybody watching this has used emojis in their titles yet if you have leave a comment below I'm curious if you guys have questions for me leave a comment below on this video and I'll do my best to answer it in a future video all right first few things going out are uh, sales outside of eBay these are viewers that reached out to me via email this is the copper teapot that I got in that bulk buy that is going on to Dave and Susan for $25 free shipping next is this Danbury mint Jacobs field stadium where the Indians play just a really cool piece, a lot of detail. That's going out to Jordan for $25 free shipping. And earlier in this video, I mentioned to you guys that I put some stickers up for sale in my Big Cartel store. Um, I actually went ahead and um, showed it in my Instagram last night, and a couple of viewers bought them. So these are going out to Eric and Laura, three stickers each, um, each for $5 free shipping. Dave and Susan, Jordan, Eric and Laura, thank you guys all so much for the support. Okay, time to pull eBay orders. First is over here on this D3 rack. This is a spotlight for an old car that I got in a bulk buy. So I've probably got about $10 into it. That sold for $34.99 oh, $34 plus shipping. Next is a die cast truck on C2 right here. I have $5 into this and that sold for $19.99 plus shipping. That same buyer actually got this right here too. This Dodge Charger Shelby model kit. The box has been opened, but everything's still new in the plastic inside. That's all for $19.99 plus shipping. Next is a video game in C42. Right here, it is Mario Kart DS. I've only got about a dollar into that. That was in a DS that I bought with a whole bunch of stuff. That's all for $12.99 free shipping. 
by Games Going Ask a viewer named Chris. He says, Hey bud, love your YouTube. I'm a big supporter in what you do for others by spreading your knowledge for upcoming eBay sellers. Can I please get a shout out for me, Big Chris, my beautiful wife Jocelyn, and my beautiful daughter Jayla Sky. Much love from Brooklyn, New York. Thank you guys all so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Next thing is down here, B51. These are some cycling shoes, Vinzo MX. I got these at Goodwill. I think about three weeks ago. I only had to pay five dollars for them and they're in excellent condition. These sold for $47.99 plus shipping. Okay, next order has four items. First has an old inventory code. It says B6. So it is probably down here, I would guess. Yeah, this is it. This is a women's caravel watch and I have listed it as is because I didn't have a battery for it. I think I had, let's say, for like $12, and I took a best offer of $9. And that same buyer got a pack of cards, or a box of cards, I should say, right here on C4. These are Max Race cards. These sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Then they got this set of three Hot Wheels cars. Yeah, I think that's right. I had to double check it. These sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Then the last thing they got is a Robin figure right back here. And that sold for $5.99 plus shipping. So all these go into the same buyer. I'll just combine them in the same box and refund them the difference in the shipping cost. They didn't say they were a viewer, but I recognize the username. And I'm pretty sure they watched the channel. So Donald, if you're watching this, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. All right, last thing I'm shipping out is something I listed this morning. This is a Muscle Machines Ford Mustang. Got this in a bulk buy recently. I've probably got about $5 into it and I couldn't find any like sold comps on this. So I think I might have underpriced it because it sold pretty quick. It didn't have the box obviously and there was a little bit of a paint chip on there so I made sure I pointed that out. That sold for $49.99 plus shipping. That's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.